The stories in just a moment, but we begin with breaking news involving the Antonio Armstrong Jr. murder trial. Jurors currently deadlocked on a decision. Channel 2's Brandon Walker has been following this trial since day one. Joins us live now from the courtroom downtown. Brandon. Yeah, Keith and Lauren, the second of these notes to reach uh, Judge Kelly Johnson today. And now that it's 5 o'clock, no jury for the rest of the day. They've ceased deliberations. They will continue tomorrow morning at 9. But when they do, they will do so at impasse. As we've mentioned, this jury is deadlocked, sending yet another note to Judge Kelly Johnson. A.J. Armstrong and his family have been here throughout the day waiting. And we've got video of him and the family in the corridor in what's been one big day of hurry up and wait. Minutes ago, Armstrong's attorneys walked out out of the courtroom to brief their client on the latest. Armstrong's grandparents and other relatives fighting the angst as well. So what does this second note mean? I just got off the phone with Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss. He tells me, you know what, not much. For one thing, Weiss says it's still early in the deliberation process considering how long and expansive this trial has been. Also, jurors, while deadlocked, have been understanding in their request to Judge Johnson telling her that they're trying to work together to reach a unanimous this decision, but there is a lot of evidence to consider here, quite a few questions that need to be answered. So Judge Johnson is doing her best to keep encouraging them to reach a conclusion so that there can be a decision on this very long, very uh, lengthy case. We are live at the Criminal Court. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Brandon, we know you keep us updated. Thank you.